Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just want to start off this video by zooming in on Alabama. Let's turn on these borders here. Here's kind of a big picture of Alabama and Mississippi. And if we go like this, I'm going to take this back to 2011. Now, looking at this, if you look carefully, this is the entire state. So this is this is from very far away, but you can see streaks across Alabama. Do you see this streak right here and this one right here? And a good way to actually look at these is go back a year, they're gone, bring it back. And there's a streak going through right here. See these right here, all these lines? Those are all tornado tracks, different tornado tracks from the same super outbreak. So we can just zoom in on a random streak like this and look how clear that track is. So the goal of today's video is to look at the April 27th, 2011 tornado super outbreak as a whole in the state of Alabama. A few of these tornadoes will probably get their own videos because they were significant on their own, but the day was such a crazy day that I had to look at the entire thing as a big picture. These tornadoes right here are the ones that I'm going to uh, cover specifically. You can see the tr paths of all of them. And I'll be going through each of these tornadoes uh, in the order in which they occurred. So the first tornado, and actually uh, one of the strongest tornadoes of the day, the first significant tornado, I should say, was the EF5 tornado that hit uh, Hackleberg and Phil Campbell over here. Now this was uh, EF5 tornadoes, and there were 72 fatalities and 145 injuries. But if we can just zoom in, you can't see too much of the path. I mean, you can pretty easily. In fact, we have another one right over there, but we're not covering that one. Um, you can't see too much, but if you zoom in, and the reason is, is they didn't have an immediate satellite imagery. This was taken July 31st, so a few months afterwards. According to what I looked up, it said it actually started way down here, but I just didn't see enough evidence for that. Now I went through here, you can see the trees are missing completely. Um, and we can even see like a kind of a before. You can see all the trees right through here. And then no trees at all. So continue this way, these plots of uh, houses that once were, but are now gone. Then it came and entered the town of Hackleburg you can just see that half of this town is completely destroyed and it looks like the main part of the town too but all these different plots of uh, buildings that once were we can even see before yeah so that's what it looked like in 2006 and then afterwards uh, yeah a lot of things are missing we can see if they uh, have rebuilt anything looks like they have so that's good it's always good to see rebuilding and it looks like they have a new building right here. But we continue onward. And it pretty much went along this interstate or this highway right here. Actually went over through here. And you can see the trees are missing and everything through this part. Across the county line. And then it went into the town of Phil Campbell. Campbell? Campbell? Phil Campbell? Then it went to this town right here. Lots of trees missing. We can look at it before again and after. So it came in through here, destroyed all these houses on the uh, southwest part of the town. Went through this section of the town right through here. So that was the first tornado that occurred at 3.05 p.m. The next tornado to occur was the... Cordova tornado, which was a very long tornado. In fact, the Cordova tornado was 116 miles. So, very long tornado. You can see part of it right through there. This tornado was an EF4 with 54 injuries and unfortunately 13 fatalities. Let's go ahead and have a look. You can see the path right through there. So, according to weather.com, it started around here. However, you can see part of a tornado path right through here.
And you can tell it's a tornado path just by going back to 2006, and there's nothing there. But continued this way. Now the path doesn't become super evident until right about here, as you can just tell by looking at the satellite imagery. But went through here. You can see it went through this little forest right here. Continued onward. It's 116 miles, so it's very obvious when it goes through a forested area. Let's actually zoom in a little bit here. I see it. You still see the path a little bit a few years afterwards. But it went through here. Looks like we started hitting some residential areas right around here. Went through these hills. Wow, it's really obvious right through there. Look at 2006. Forest, and then you see how obvious that is. Even in like 2016, that's just a empty plot of land. Anyway, it continued through here. You can see the path. Then, of course, we come across the town of Cordova. You can see the path right through here. Quite a bit of destruction. April 28th, I actually got some relatively recent footage. So you can see it came in through here and destroyed a few houses. Cars are there to help out. Love to see it. Went through this commercial district. This was an EF4 tornado, so not quite EF5 intensity. Continued on this way, you can see the trees knocked down over here. Cross this river, knock down more trees. Wow, look at that. You can really see how obvious it is immediately after the tornado. Yep, you can just see the path continue onward. Oh, and you can see how they took the satellite imagery right through here. So they actually just took the entire imagery. You can see it go through the hills. Let's have a look at that. So it's like it's weakening a little bit. But, I mean, it's crazy to see a bunch of trees knocked down on such a hilly terrain. So the next tornado to occur was the Tuscaloosa-Birmingham tornado. Now this was probably the most significant, one of the most significant tornadoes of the day. And it deserves its own video, but I'm just going to do a quick overview on the uh, uh, EF4 tornado. This tornado formed around 4.43 p.m. and it went 80 miles through here. And unfortunately it took the lives of 65 people. But according to sources it started around here around this area. And you can see the path pretty obviously. So it came through here and then it entered the town of Tuscaloosa. Fortunately, it was still in some rural areas until about here. Then it hit, looks like a commercial district. But the tornado continued this way. A lot of people on the interstate here. A lot of cars helping out. Then it went through this residential neighborhood, unfortunately. Now, like I said, this is a very significant tornado, so I'm going to do a specific video on this tornado so I'm just gonna today I'm just gonna do an overview of the entire uh, outbreak so be sure to check out that video once it's released so yeah you can see it continue onward going over the lake
here's a before picture and an after picture so you can kind of just compare now here's a large picture overview of the city of Tuscaloosa so if we zoom out here it is we just looked right here at ooh, at Tuscaloosa and as you can see it continued this way through some rural areas overall this tornado was about 80 miles long and it ended around here around 6 14 p.m. so very long tornado so yeah look at that path two very significant cities so the next tornado uh, occurred at 5 30 p.m. and that is the Sawyerville tornado here's the track very obvious like most of them now overall this tornado was about 72 miles and it had 50 injuries and seven fatalities started about here you can see the path pretty obviously went through some forested areas now this tornado was an EF3 went through here I'm gonna zoom in see if I can just get a wow look how obvious that is that's crazy See, I don't know why, but things like this just blow my mind. Like, it's so obvious. I want to see what this looks like today. I got to check it out. Yeah, look at that. Today, in 2019, March 31st, 2019, you can still see it. And it looks like they literally made fields out of the path. That's insane. Like, how many tornadoes do you think happened 100 years ago and now we just use them as fields and we don't even realize that we built a field we built our fields in the path of a tornado. That's crazy. Let's we got to come back to this in like 2070 and just see if like maybe all the trees here are super small. And just a a quick before I mean that's straight up forest except for this and this. But boom. All right. So, continue through here pretty obviously. Left a very obvious path. Continue through here. Wow, I mean, that's so obvious. All right. Yep, went through here. Went through here, continued onward. A lot of forested areas in this one, and that's a good thing. So there were seven fatalities, though, so I'm sure a few of these houses or something along this path were hit pretty hard, but it's just always good to look at the bright side. This could have been... A huge city and finally we have the nighttime tornado of Lake Martin this tornado formed around 8 15 p.m. it's about 44 miles there were 30 injuries and seven fatalities so start around here don't see much oh that looks kind of weird but don't well you can see the path pretty obvious now this one was at night so a lot of people didn't even see this one there's not really much footage of it but definitely more of a lake vacation community. A few houses, a few plots right here. Look at the before, as I do. So this was already empty anyway, but yep. Crossed the lake, went through here, continued. Hit some houses through here. Looks like it almost weakened a little bit because this uh, it's not quite as cleared out as some of the other areas. But it continued on. Look how wide that is. That's that's a wide path. Wow, look at that path right there. That's, that's probably the most obvious path I've ever seen. We're going to do the space check. Yeah, you could see that from space. So there you have it. There's uh, the five tornadoes that we looked at from up here, through here, through here, through here. And finally through here let's go ahead and just maybe see if we can find 
Like, I don't even know what other tornadoes are around here, but I bet you we can easily just find one by doing this. Let me look. So look at this right here. You see this path right here? Not there. Oh. There it is. So that's another tornado. So yeah, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe if you want more videos. I got a list of videos I'm going to try to uh, do in the next few weeks. So yeah, thank you.